And it's Austin. What Hello. are you doing? What are you doing? I am brewing coffee. Why? Because it's Why? coffee time. Because after 6.30 is coffee time. You don't. You always have to have dinner before 6.30 so that you can have your night cup of coffee. Because you don't want to have your night cup of coffee past 8.30 because then it gets weird. I was raised with a night cup of coffee too. It and what are you sleep. doing? You what is this? Have dinner after what do you got? Yeah. So I came home to something great, which is wonderful. Me? I'm tired. I worked my first eight hour day in many years and I'm hurting. So if I look a little tore up, I'm tore up. But look what I came home to. It came in the mail from the Disney store. These are the new Illy I Love You Forever dolls. They're Barbie doll size dolls. As Not as the characters, bounding as the characters. So they're just regular people in the park like you and me. And then they wear clothes or colors or their favorite stuff of characters that they like. So they're showing that they're inspired by. Because obviously she doesn't look like Snow White, but she's inspired by Snow White. So this is the Snow White one. They have um, like a Princess Frog one. They have a Cinderella one. Um, they're just really cool. And I hope they make more. They're articulated. I mean, hello, there's so much articulation in this doll. It's a hefty doll. And look at her face. She has little freckles. I don't know if you can see it in the package, but yes. she is so cute. They have inset eyes, which is like like one of my puts a doll up here. Oh, yeah. Inset eyes. The clothes are good quality. And they have these fun little balloons. And each balloon has a different surprise food from inside the park. Oh, my so God. So you could get like a pineapple whip ice cream or a, a mickey shaped pretzel or so there's a different food surprise in all of them a treat see you get an ice cream or a treat you don't know which one you'll get churros mickey mouse this is the coolest thing ever and these are being sold at disney shop um online the disney stores which there isn't a whole lot of them but there's still some out there and then disneyland inside disneyland uh and target is carrying the illy brown they have the exclusive rights but not all Targets. Only the Targets that have like a little Disney store inside of them. So, and some of ours too. So, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Isn't she beautiful? All right. Go. Now we open the mystery box of Raiders of the Lost Ark toys. So, I thought you meant you bought the new six inch figures. The, uh, the, la the Raiders of the Lost Ark six inch one. No, I bought a lot. This of is the vintage stuff. 2008. This was $30 on Macari. Okay, uh, a little bit of background. I was diehard in this line. You were like, all in. Hardcore. Uh, for those, so 2007 was the Star Wars 30th anniversary, and it's definitely what I see as the peak of my Star Wars collecting. In 2007, that was the year I was dedicated to Star Wars. I went to Celebration. I went to Comic-Con. I was on the Rebel Scum forums. I was on Galactic Hunter's blog. I was, like, keeping checklists of figures. I was really into it. And in 2008, Hasbro announced that Star Wars would be going on a six-month hiatus for the Indiana Jones figures. And I was so bummed. Because unlike today, where you can't find anything, Star Wars figures were released really consistently. I would say like every four weeks, every month, there was a new set of figures to get. You remember, Dad. I made you run around to all these collectible shops. I was at Toys R Us, collectible yeah. shops. CZ4 anniversary collection. And when I heard that, you know, they were, they were dropping Star Wars for this Indiana Jones, like, like Han Solo just in a jacket? That's boring. No humans, no boring. You sound like Violet Beauregard, which I, is like, give up gum? Are no, you crazy? No aliens, no robots, no nothing. So then we, t you took me, Dad, to go see The Last Crusade. In, in theaters. theaters, yes. And I loved it and fell in love with Indiana Jones. It was a senior citizen's day at the theater for five bucks. Yes. We were the only young people in there and we had a great time. We had a great time. And I think in retrospect, at my childhood, I think I had a better time with the Indiana Jones figures than my Star Wars figures. I loved these guys. The storylines I did, they were violent, they were hardcore. Indiana Jones had like a machine gun and he was gunning down enemies. It was great. So we're gonna relive a bit of youth here. Okay, what do we got here? All right, so first up, uh, one I never had. This is the Galactic Hero, or they were called Adventure Heroes. So Galactic Heroes was the Star Wars line of like official, official price, you know, I hate to say baby toys, but they were stylized. They're for little children. They're for little children. It's a bloodthirsty man with a sword for yes, children. Yes, absolutely. They gets gunned down. They gets shot. The kids are going to love this one. He gets shot dead. I never had this one. Oh, well, there you go. He must have uh, shipped Oleon and then been 
or he's gone off the shelf. Okay, so here, here's our first big one. This is uh, Spalkov? Spalko. Spalko, the bad goal of Crystal Skull. Yeah, one of the first ones I got. I remember this figure kind of weirded me out a little because it looked a little like Mom. Well, it, must be it, it looks like Mom. Must be a boy. So I, doll. I used her as the main bad the girl who <laughs> would fall in love with Indy and betray him uh, until I got the. Is it Elsa Schneider? Elsa's Dr. Schneider. Yeah, once I got Schneider, the Mom lookalike was cast aside. Uh, it doesn't help that she wasn't that great in the movie. No, so, she says a sword fight. This this was a cool figure until you saw the film. So there we go. And she doesn't stand, by the way. She didn't come with a stand, so very frustrating. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is one, I think at one point I had four or five of these because they were about 99 cents at Target near the end. This is Belloc in his ceremonial robes from the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Which is honestly a, uh, an offensive figure. If you really think about the connotations of what's going on here, it, it is offensive. And I'm surprised they made this. It, 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 it's not that great, honestly. I don't know what their fixation with this outfit is, that he's always merchandised in this. As a kid, I always felt like I was being robbed of Belloc in his killer pith helmet and adventure yeah, they, gear. They won't make him in a regular outfit because I guess it's boring and that's an exciting figure. The, don't ever let anyone tell you that a pith helmet is boring. I wanted a pith helmet Belloc figure so bad because I knew he would be a main bad guy and I would use him as a Spaceballs figure when I played oh Spaceballs. You're so weird. Who plays Spaceballs? I do because I was a kid that loved Spaceballs. Oh man, this is great. It's a little Indiana Jones cake topper. Is that what that is? Uh-huh. It's just a nice little cake topper. I never had this either. It looks like he's holding the um uh the stones from Temple of Doom, which is an odd choice. Is that is that what's in his hand? It's hard to tell. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty odd. Maybe it's supposed to be the idol and they just didn't have paint. Oh man, oh man, okay. So here we've got Mutt Williams, the lovable Shia LaBeouf. Now, I know people have a lot of thoughts on this character. Uh, I, I really liked Mutt. He was probably my favorite indie sidekick to play with. Like, given the choice between Mutt and Sala, I'd go with Mutt. I know, I know. How can I do that to John Lee Davis? How could I? But yeah, this Mutt. Mutt with his knife. Oh, it's an Imaginex caveman. Oh, this is when Indiana Jones goes back in time. This is when he discovers the frozen caveman. Yeah. That would make a great Indiana Jones movie, right? Yeah, that's the X-Files. Well, it'd be interesting, because Indiana Jones is based on religion. Because, you know, literally God shows up in the movie. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could have Indiana Jones discover a caveman and be like... He could discover mm -hmm. Adam. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, now this. This is why I bought it. Yeah, that's a $50 is, item. This is a really cool release. This was one of my favorites from the line. This is Indiana Jones' horse. And... This is just such a cool horse. Now, if you collect modern action figures, you'll know Boss Fight Studio. They make a lot of great stuff. They make the Bucky O'Hare figures. They do Zorro, Flash Gordon, and they do their original line called Hacks. And if you've ever seen any of the horses they did, they just did the Phantom's horse. They're all based off this mold. Because Boss Fight Studio was the Indiana Jones design team. They split off from Hasbro after this line kind of flopped. Or a couple years after that. Yeah, this is great. So if you collect Boss Fight Studio figures, you want to add this one to your collection. Uh, it's also just awesome. And I had this, and I would actually use this as a stand-in for Epona with my Toy Biz Legend of Zelda figure. I would put Link on it and pretend it's his horse. Now he's uh, Noble Steed. Yeah, yeah. Shrek. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, this, the, that, yes, Donkey becomes the noble steed. Good callback. Oh, this is fun. This is just a, a skeleton mummy. Uh, something interesting about the Adventure Kids line is they had a lot of monsters. They had, like, mummies, and they even did the art ghosts that melt their yeah, face off. But they knew what kids like. Yeah, because it's a kid aim line. It's a kid line. I remember thinking that I was, I wish those characters would come to the collector figure line. But, you know, this is fun for kids for Indiana Jones to fight mummies. Why not? It's awesome. It's fun. Oh, look at this, man. It's, it's Indiana Jones just with a gun. With a heater. Like, he's ready to pop a cap at a guy. 
And that's why Indiana Jones is just awesome, okay? He's gonna kill somebody. Yeah. He's I, shooting the Cairo Swordsman. He, oh, you're right. Look at that. That is so adorable. This this line is underrated. This Adventure Heroes line. I They're thought great. you'd make fun of all the Adventure Heroes in there. No, no. They put a lot of love and care into these. I remember there was a Hasbro Star Wars presentation one year where they were showing off the Galactic Heroes. And like the panelists said, who's buying these? Kids don't know what a Zutton is. Zutton is Snaggletooth, by the way. Uh -huh. For those that are curious, they did a lot of cuts into this line. Oh no! This is the first major fail of Wave One. This was the first figure that I bought and thought, "Wow, I just lost seven dollars," which was a lot of money when you were a kid. This is Whip Crack in Action Indiana Jones, and he's supposed to. He's supposed to. I don't think he has whip crack in action anymore. All these <laughs> He's done later. cracked. But it's just the same figure with less stuff and less articulation. Did he come with like a, a big accessory? Nope. Oh, it's just a this is it. general release. This is all you get. Yeah, that's lame. And, and, and for a little while, this was the only way to get Temple of Doom Indy. Jacketless Indy. But they rectified that later with an awesome figure. Okay, here's another basic Indiana Jones. These are great, though, because he's got his gun and his whip, and a kid will never lose the accessories. I like these little guys. They're fun. Uh, a shield. What is it from? Mattel. I think it's Imagine X. I think maybe. Maybe. Wait a second. Yes. Yes, it's the caveman's shield. All right. Now he's priceless. Now he can really battle Indiana Jones. Oh no, it's it's mutt without a hand. Oh no. So would you believe me if I told you I loved this figure and played with it a ton? Why? But never with my Indiana Jones figures. Oh, I know what you're going to say. This is always who I used with my Transformers figures. Because this looks exactly like Shia LaBeouf from Transformers. He looks like uh, um, w w Sam with Wiki. Sam, Sam with Wiki. Sam yeah. with Wikipedia. And I recently found out that Hasbro intended on reusing this figure for the Revenge of the Fallen Transformers line. But it fell through. So, pretty interesting. So, you know, I was a small kid. Here is one of the native warriors that Indiana Jones fights. These are the guys that live in the walls, and it makes no sense. I think it's a Jovito. Is it, is it? I think it's a Jovito. From? From Raiders. From Raiders, oh yeah, you're right. Wow, that makes this one of the few figures that wasn't in the action figure line. He was only in the play school line. Yeah, Jovitos. See, that's that's unusual. That would happen a lot with Hasbro at this time. They would make tons of Star Wars characters in, like, a Mighty Mug or a Galactic Hero before making them in the main line. But not in the standard line. Not in the standard line, which really upset the fans. Like, look, look at this figure, man. Would you give your kid this? That's a Russian soldier. <laughs> this is hardcore. He's got a semi-automatic machine gun. You look at this and you would think like this is something a kid would have played with in, you know, 1941. Yeah, yeah. That is a, a menacing toy. Like an army man. Yeah. But he's not even green and friendly. Like, that is hard. It's not even Indiana Jones in disguise. No, that's a Russian from Crystal wow. Skull. I can't believe they made these toys. Okay, this is the... Um, German mechanic that Indy is fights. Is that who that is? I thought that was Mario's brother, <laughs> Mario. This is Chris Pratt as Mario. Yeah. It's a me. It's Chris Pratt. It's a Mario. Ooh, here's a good one. Mutt in his jacket. Again, say what you will about Mutt, but this is just a really nice figure. And I liked all these Mutt figures because he came with his sword, and he typically came with a snake. Hey, the, the Conan movie is terrible. But the figures are really nice. Yeah, I, just, I thought this was a cool figure as a kid, and he was one of my go-tos. They even made his bike, which is impressive. Look at our pile growing. Okay, here we have Indiana Jones with Dort on his pants. Thank goodness. Uh, I believe this one was exclusive to a gift set, which is why he's kind of a kit bash. He's taking the legs from this release, and his upper half is the regular Indy. So, uh, I don't know why you need this, but it's another indie. At least they made it different, right? So that a gift set isn't just all we yeah. Oh, man. All right, this is one of my favorite. This might be my favorite figure of the entire line. I love this figure. 
young Indiana Jones, played by Viva Phoenix, right? Viva Phoenix, from your favorite movie, Stand By Me. Yeah, this figure is a little bit sweet. It is the last Indiana Jones figure I found at Target. No, at Ross. I found this at Ross. It was the last time I bought an Indiana Jones figure at store. And God bless you, Dad. I made you track down the rest for me on eBay yep. back in 2008. Back bet, in the day. I bet the shipping fees were higher back then. But this this was just a fun figure. I'm trying to I think his legs are like backwards. Yeah, there we go. Usually I'm not big on like kid figures, but this was just a really nice, super articulated indie in another outfit. He's got the cross of Coronado on his belt. Belongs in a museum. I also, again, I have a soft spot for Last Crusade. I really like it. So I just, I really like this figure. This is such a good release. And again, you can see that Boss Fight Studios quality. The people that were making Star Wars and Indiana Jones figures at this time. Why isn't there a line of amazing. Marvel figures that looks like that? Uh, they tried with Marvel Universe. The... Uh, we had the quarter inch Marvel line at the time. But those are those were all pretty much comic based, weren't they? They were there having, some movies? From what I gather, they were having a contract stipulation at the time. So they got Thor in it. The Thor figures were based off the movie and Captain America. But they couldn't, I, I believe they couldn't, if I'm not mistaken, they couldn't do like X Men or Spider Man and they couldn't have vehicles or play sets. Yeah, that's dumb. The only reason to make that scale is to make vehicles and play sets. Yep. Oh man, this is what I was just talking about. This is the ghost of the Ark as a figure. Isn't this great that this exists? Isn't that wonderful? Some scary, man. Scary stuff. Okay, here is Marion Ravenwood. With a monkey. It's Marion. It's a nice figure. I don't know what else to say. Uh, this is the regular release Indiana Jones. Uh, this was the first figure I bought. We went to Toys R Us. Uh, what Toys R Us did we go to, Dad? Off of the street date. It was like May 10th, I believe. This would have been uh, La Mirada, probably. Yeah, La Mirada. You're probably La right. La Mirada or Cerritos. And they had like three figures on the peg. And we found an indie. And I got an Indiana Jones. And it, people don't like this figure online. Like, this figure has a bad reputation. When I was eight, I was just so excited to have this. A fully articulated Indiana Jones. They can go on any adventure I wanted. Look at all these figures. I was just so happy to have this. And he's got a functioning holster, which is really cool. And his legs are very bulky and wide, which people love to laugh at now. But it's a toy feature. It's completely intentional so that he can have no trouble getting on his Look horse. That. Look at that. Get off your high horse. So I didn't mind that. Uh, it's a good figure. My, literally, my only complaint with this figure is that his hands are flesh-colored. They should have been gray. And he wears gloves. Indiana Jones always wears gloves. But, you know. That's that's such a minor nitpick. So that, that's a good figure. Uh, this is... Oh, I remember this one. This is a really funky Indiana Jones. This is another, like, kit bash release. You can see it's the regular Indy, but with the legs with less articulation. And his jacket is, like, opened. And he doesn't have a whole start that works. So why do we have this budget Indiana Jones that's reduced? Can you guess, Dad? He came as a pack-in or something. Yeah, he came with a series of traps you could buy. They had the idol with spikes around it, and they had a swing pit with snakes. It was the Indiana Jones traps playsets. And if you bought all the traps, they could connect and make like a little level. A little adventure. For Indy to run in. And I had them all... I connected them. I thought it was awesome. This is a funny figure. This is the first indie figure they released based off Crystal Skull. And when he came out, everyone thought the same thing. He's so old. Yeah, well, that was, uh, at this point, 15 years ago. Yeah. So add 15 years. Yeah, and it's funny because like we thought, what kid wants an action adventure figure of an old man? He looks old. And now they're releasing kid figures of 80-year-old India. Yeah, ridiculous. It's crazy. Crystal Skull. That said, I didn't mind the fact that he's old. I think this is a cool figure. I like that he doesn't have his hat. And he came with a big bazooka, which was great. So, yeah, this this is kind of a good one. I don't mind it. God, there's, there's so many figures in here. Uh, here is Indy with the skull. Crystal Skull. I have nothing to say on that. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. 
It's Indy with the skull. Oh, look! It's Indiana Jones again. But what do you notice about this He's one? He's got his gloves. He's got his gloves. So why couldn't the regular figures... Look Look how many times they did Wado's Indy. They couldn't have given one of these his gloves. Seriously? Here is the... Uh, That's the, 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 grail, grail the Grail Knight. Yeah, it's yeah. the Grail Knight. Except this time he's got a little um, toilet brush. Okay, now we've got um, Henry Jones Sr. played by the great Sean Connery. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Uh, Map Room Indy. It's a fun one. This is another one, though, that it, it really sat on the pegs. These were like 50 cents a target. What's, what can you do with that? Once, you, once you discover the, the location of the Ark... It's not a playable Indy. What are you supposed to do with it? You Knock know, somebody even, with that? Even in the kid line, you know, you never saw this. This disappeared from shelves as soon as it was stocked, but you saw plenty of these, so, yeah. Okay, here is Spalkov oh, in the kids' line. Look at that ridiculous figure. Yeah, they thought she was going to catch on as this big, cool, bad guy, but she's just kind of, uh. This one's at least fun. Like, yeah, he's stuck holding something, but it is the idol. And, and, he's got the spider on his back. So, it's fun. He owes the Ark of the Covenant. It's opened, as you can see, because the ghost goes uh, in it like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. Okay, here you've got one wall from the trap playset I mentioned. So this closes in on him, but you don't, you don't have the rest of the playset, so there you go. Okay, here is Marion. This is a great figure, really cool. Uh, probably one of the first, like, goal action figures. Well, no, that's not true, because I loved Shock T for some reason, so. I didn't mind that it was a goal figure. That didn't bother me. I played with though. I thought she was cool. I like to have her hit guys with a frying pan, because I thought that was funny. So, yeah, she's cool. And, and this, this is an example where I'm actually glad they didn't hinder or sculpt with a bunch of joints. She's not super articulated, but does Marion need to be? No, she gets the job done. Yeah, it's a good figure. Okay, here is the German mechanic. Uh, this this one really upset me as a kid because they came out with this. This was in wave one, and the regular figure line did not have the German mechanic. He was only available in the Disneyland figure line, which was already gone by that point. So, Dad, you bought me a G.I. Joe movie figure of Gung Ho. To be the German mechanic. Because Gung Ho has the mustache, the bare chest. It was a good enough shoe-in, you know? Uh, what else do we have? It's gotta be at the end. There's still more figures, believe it or not. Uh, this is a great character. This is John Reese Davis. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Okay, so this is the, uh, what are these guys called? The, the warriors, the native warriors that live in the walls. Yeah, that's the Crystal Skull. This guy. is the Crystal, so this is Crystal Skull. This is Rados. You know, I never realized that these were different. And they should have made this guy as a figure in the main line. That is, that is disappointing. Coffee's gonna get cold because mine is. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm reminiscing about Indiana Jones. It's good time. This is childhood. Oh, here we go. This is, um, <laughs> Game of Thrones? Narnia? Let me see. Narnia. It's Narnia. Wow. Look at this kid. This is Indiana Jones' new sidekick in the new movie. Yeah. You know? This is a snake. Ugh. There were lots of little snakes in this line. This is uh, a tablet of some sort. I don't know what this came from. I don't remember this. This is the Grail tablet that oh, Donovan probably came gives with, him. Okay, it probably came the with the Grail Knight. Yeah. Another snake? Well, remember they did those artifact boxes. Yes. Uh, this, okay, yeah, what is the name of this gun? Do you know? No. Really? It's a very iconic gun. That's the, uh, this Schwinskvatschen. German pistol. It's called a Luger. A Luger. Yeah, this is a Luger. The Schwinskvatschen. I, I only know that because of, uh, Team Fortress, so. But yeah, who, who, who the wants the one is fighting. Guy? We're gonna give it to uh, Shia LaBeouf. Don't give him any weapons. <laughs> Be scared. You're asking for scared. it to give Shia LaBeouf a weapon. And the last figure in the bag is the Grail Knight. Look at oh, this figure. I didn't figure. know he was in there. There he is. Yeah, this... This figure is missing his awesome sword and cape that really made him unique. 
but this is such a cool figure. Uh, I do love the character of the Grail Knight. You know, Last Crusade is about, you know, belief and faith. And then Indy, you know, when he jumps across the bridge and the bridge is not there. And he actually meets, like, like a biblical figure. Like, it feels like the perfect uh, course of events over the Indiana Jones movie. He starts out, you know, grabbing a little idol. And he ends it literally meeting uh, a figure connected, a, a character created... Uh, human connected to God from the Crusades. Yeah, it's it's pretty great. And look, look at that head sculpt. The head sculpt is phenomenal. This line of toys got cut way too short. Uh, I don't know how it got messed up. I loved it as a kid. I ate this line right up. I ate it up. I just thought it was so great. Dad, any thoughts on Indiana Jones? I think it's great. I thought it was a good deal. I'm glad I got it at the cheap price that I did because the swap meet, these are 5 to $6 a piece. Well, also, I think when the new movie comes out, regardless of whether that movie's good or not, probably won't be, people are going to look back and realize they missed out on these. Yeah. They'll have a second resurgence. They will. They will. They're good figures. So, thanks right. for watching. Dun, 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 d